Dobro za vas. Did this, did this um, track start off with this sample? Yeah, it started actually. A friend brought in was like, this is a, this is a really good um, sample to check this out, this record. Started messing around with the kind of tempo thing. I wanted to try and make more of a hip hop thing. I did it, you know, normally I, I approach all my tracks like I'd want to sell it to someone to rap on or something basically like this. But then some things to me just work with a little instrumental. And um, what would you say, I mean, you know, it's, it's pretty straightforward. It seems pretty straightforward. Um, it is. Arrangement for me. Was there anything that was particularly challenging while you were writing this? No. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have Cooley Jean in the house. My <laughs> section of those offbeat violin stuff. That's my little four year old self. Let's put Clem at first. <laughs> Yeah, just, I just let him play and then I just quantize stuff after. Did you give my code right? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. So I I'll check it. Yeah. yeah. It's just featuring Nas. <laughs> so, let's just play. How does it feel to even track? You know, in place like this. Um, pretty weird, I'm still shy about it and feel a bit got butterflies and stuff like that. I always start nine times out of ten with the beat. Cool, yeah, so tonight was CDR Knowledge, uh, hosted by Burn Progress and Media Pros. Um, it was awesome. <laughs> Basically just a bunch of uh, producers, DJs, Everything like that, um, getting together, sharing knowledge, um, sharing production techniques, ideas, everything. It's, it's really cool. I came down to CDR Knowledge to, to break down uh, one of the tracks of my High for Dub EP, uh, Ukid, a uh, track called SP, and just try to explain a bit about the process, how it came about. What Tony is doing with CDR and Knowledge, it's very, it's very inspirational. It's very, I think. People need to feel supported. I think people are very get in their own worlds in production, and you come here and they realise that other people are going through the same struggle. No matter what level they're signed or not signed, people like their music. No one's even heard it. Everyone's kind of going through the same thing. Um, it was good. I, I kind of remember everything because I make so much music. <laughs> but yeah, it was nice, and it did bring back some memories and stuff like that as well. So yeah, it was it was good. And then when he took out all the effects and heard it dry, that was nice as well. I did a talk uh, with CDR Knowledge about my first proper release, a track called Claire, and just explain how I did it. A track that I started sort of like in my own, my own company in my house uh, with a singer, and then had to sit on the big screen and explain it to a group of people. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty weird, but it's really good. I loved what Kuli G had to say. I loved how um, in love she was with her own material and how it's like sort of watching somebody talk us through their process is a really exciting thing. So that was good. It's nice to know what, how other people are working. Um, yeah, basically just get ideas for what I can take back home.